Happy Friday, everybody. Yes, Happy we made it. Happy March as well. I know. I can't Happy Meteorological it. Spring. That oh, too. And it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like it. It, it doesn't end there, though. It's also Employee <laughs> yeah. Appreciation Day. Oh, I National. Yes. So we have some snacks in there. Did you yeah. get some? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of reasons to celebrate <laughs> this morning. Like you know, there, there your desk is there in here. There strawberries, so. which is my favorite fruit. So I got some strawberries. Oh, good. I can hear some. Yeah. Very nice. I have hair on. So all sorts of <laughs> reasons to celebrate this morning. Oh, you got it. We got a lot uh, going please, on. Please don't don't let us get in the way of, of your hair issue. <laughs> no, she had like a random hair. Like, you know, and it's like when do you ever get that like cut, yes. cut like in your eyelash and you're like I well, can't ben see. Doesn't. No, he doesn't because oh, well, he doesn't yep. wear fake eyelashes. Like I was all just about to do. say, yeah. This is not. Well, 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 don't assume. <laughs> don't maybe assume. he does. <laughs> No, I can On see. his own time. Okay, what are we talking about today? I really do feel like I'm the only man here right now. Like, I, I really <laughs> noticed Chris and Larry's absence right now. Like, really. No, My sorry. apologies to well, folks okay. who are tuning then, in. What are we I talking promise, about? Um, I Helen, promise Helen we, do, we do have a point to we do, being here We do. We do. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> something that's called concierge moms um, mm -hmm. is a trend that's evidently taking off. Uh, parents, uh, as they send their kids off to uh, college this fall, are beginning to hire a little bit of help. And they're doing it with these concierge moms so evidently hundreds of parents have started hiring a local person or mom in their uh, kids college town to be there for their child when they can't be so this can be anything from recommending local doctors uh, making sure their child feels special on their birthday um, things like that so some say this actually harms those students by not allowing them to learn those skills on their own and how to take care of themselves. So uh, this morning we've been asking all morning long, do you think this is a good idea or do you think college students need to learn some independence? And obviously a lot of people chiming Ooh, in this morning. Strong uh, the majority of people saying no, college kids need to learn life skills, not having a concierge mothering them. As someone else saying, they're supposed to be independent and learn how to be, well, you know, these, these tag boards, I, I wish so I could control them because yeah. I start, this happens to me every time, I start reading and then it moves. Well, One person, point that would be good for, uh, for those who don't have a stable support system at home mm -hmm. that's true. or don't have a home to return to, but I would say, absolutely, but I would say that there's... there's <clears throat> mentoring programs and stuff like that. Well, yeah, and there's also, that, that sounds like a much bigger problem than just yeah. when the kid goes off to college, yeah. that, that they're probably not getting what they need in, in high school or, or junior yeah. high either. Um, so their parent probably wouldn't be hiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who knows if they're already independent as it is, yeah. if they dealt with that growing yeah. up. Right. Mm -hmm. um, John Kelly, one of the benefits of college is learning to take care of yourself independently, mm -hmm. which is so true. Joy Mott, they need to learn independence, taught me independence. I think it, you, you just, you finally learn to like grow up and take care of yourself. Yeah, because if you don't do it in college, then... When do you do what it? What are you expecting? You, <laughs> when they go out and get a job and then you're going to have a concierge mom at their job? Like, what, at what point are you cutting the cord? I feel right. like this has a lot more to do with, with a, a parent's inability to cut the cord than it does a, so. a, a student's inability to go about in the world themselves right. and fend for themselves. I'm laughing because this has garnered, like, so many very strong opinions. Yeah. I yeah. love when our show is able to do this just because yeah. it kind of shows, like, the different backgrounds and just, like, the diversity between how people watch. Totally. Like, yeah. to me, I'm, I wouldn't say neither here nor there. I think I would say I'm somewhere in the middle. So me and my siblings were about a decade apart. So my siblings, oh, crap, I'm going to give away my age, but they're, <laughs> they're in college right now. And... I was just talking to my little sister about this yesterday, actually, after the show, and just talking about where her independence and how she feels it should start and stop as a college student. I mean, she's 18. So right now she's kind of going back and forth, um, looking at like financial aid packages, determining whether it is more sensible to stay on campus and pay for on-campus housing or to go off campus, split an apartment with some buddies. The problem, well, not the problem, I, I would say, but the reason that she's kind of trying to crunch the numbers herself is because our parents, it's our philosophy that, you know, kids, they put themselves through school. And so she was talking to some of her friends about the same issue, and they have no idea what she's talking about mm. because their cars paid for their parents, yeah. school paid for by parents, monthly grocery bill paid for by parents. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, now this is someone who hasn't, have any kids um, and not necessarily planning to i don't i'm 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 in between because it just depends on what your kid needs and what kind of support they need if you know that your kid is a more 
introvert, then maybe this concierge mom is a good idea, especially if they're independent in other ways, like they know how to handle their finances, mm -hmm. they know how to handle their academics. Yeah. So I don't know. It's like I said, just interesting because a lot of strong opinions here. Yeah. I think as a as a parent, you know, your main goal is to raise your kids to be able to go out yeah. and be self-sufficient mm -hmm. adults, kind human beings, take care of themselves. But of course, as a parent, if your child ever needs anything, I think, you know, any of our moms would be sure. like, totally. yes, honey, I'll help you. Yeah. Like, what, what do you need? Like, I'm here for you. Um, but I do think, and maybe I'm wrong, but the way that this was phrased, it seems like it's not letting them build that uh, self-sufficient independence, um, well, I think, I think living away is, from parents. Uh, automatically, I feel like college usually is, is sort of necessarily a safe space anyway for them to transition. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the perk is that, yeah. you know, if you live in a dorm or something, then you mm -hmm. have an RA, you, yeah. you, you yeah. have people who are in the same boat as you looking for doctors, looking for like things like that. So I, I feel like that's the perfect place already yeah. to transition into adulthood. Yeah. And I feel like hiring somebody to babysit them is mm -hmm. just sort of defeating the purpose yeah, I feel of like college is the place where like you can make a mistake and then, totally. like, then fall back and be like okay now I know how to be do it better next time instead yeah. of just like because if you do it wrong you just like you're like okay I tried on my I tried on my own like show me how to do it better next time people almost yeah. expect yeah. you to make the mistakes instead of just when you're, calling yeah. like, right my parents and saying show me how to do this like let me try to do it on my own and then if I can't figure it out like then Call them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Melissa saying life is about trial and error. Let them at least try. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's okay if you have like, say you're moving to another town and your parent or your family has a friend in that town sure. and you want to go over there for dinner. You yeah. know, you want to go over. I've, I've, I have always lived away from home since high school. Yep. And so I kind of clung to some of those people that I could go to for Thanksgiving sure. or Christmas because I was always like working at a TV station and so mm -hmm. having those people that make you feel like family yeah. is important um, but I do think what we're talking about is a is a different scenario yeah. right yeah yes. I don't know I was trying to like look at like the script because this was y'all's read this morning yeah. yeah and so I was trying to get like more details on what like a concierge mom actually means mm -hmm. um, because it's very dependent on situations like my best friend is I mean he's from France so when he came to the United States for school, he very much did need a concierge oh, yeah, job because there sure. were too many crossover yeah. things that yeah. you're just not going to get at 18 years old. Right. And we had foreign exchange students stay with us when I was in high school. like a host family. Like yeah. You have that, which I, so, I do get that. And that was a really, um, that was really fun, fun experience. And uh, I always wanted to do foreign exchange. I mean, I never did you it. You never did it? I know. So, I did you ever have any stay no, at your but house? I always wanted to. And I, and I went through a phase. I think in middle school where like we talked about it yeah. a lot and like was really close and I was going to go to Japan and and then it just didn't ever came to fruition. And I looked back and was like, that is probably yeah. one, one regret I have. This is off topic, but we had a foreign exchange student from Japan that stayed mm. with us. And then my husband lived in Japan for a year. And so when I was in high school, you know, we didn't have Facebook, but I was able to find her through Facebook Aww. and we were able to meet up and I got to meet her kids. This is before I had kids, oh, but, um, and she took out us out to a restaurant and like ordered for us. And oh, that's fantastic. it was, I love it, that. it was such a that's cool, neat. full, full circle moment and my mom was definitely I, her concierge mom while, yeah. <laughs> while yeah. she was here totally. I feel totally. like that is significantly different, different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. since someone from Charlotte for example yeah. going to like NC State yeah. Yeah. Like we, getting a right. concierge yes, yes. mom and right. Right. or something but you know like that, I, people know. are hiring people now to help their kids figure out college, you know, mm -hmm. and scholarships. And but I also think that's something different. It, it is we something are, different. We are off topic. I know, I know, but I'm just, you know, <laughs> talking about all the though, scenarios. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This yeah. is like that's free association with Sarah French this that's morning. That's like parents being too busy because they, yes. like, are both working. Yes, I was exactly. just going like, to say Like yeah, a tutor yeah. or something yeah. like that. That makes sense. But okay. if my babies anything, go to college and still need their mama, I am going to. Anything else on your mind that you would like to talk about? There's any other topics that you would like to like to? I really like your green ties. Okay, let's talk about green ties. That sounds good. All right, folks, this has been an unwieldy version it's Friday. of WCNC Shots to Go. Uh, listen, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday. <laughs>